Hi everyone and welcome to Fun with Code. In this video, we are going to create a functional login system in Python using tkinter. In the last video, we have done half of this. So if you haven't watched that video, please go and watch the video. If I try to register, it says fill all the inputs. So we have done this in the last video. Now let's register. Let's say username is something and let's type some random name or uh, random text and register ourselves now it says nothing now when I close this and rerun this now you can see there are only two inputs which is username and password so whenever the user registers himself for the first time he is not supposed to register again whenever he runs this app so we are going to do this by saving the information in the text file. If the information exists, it means that user is, user has already registered. Now he should log in. So we are going to do this in this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. First, we are going to open the file. We can use with open and then the file name. Let's say start.txt and we are going to just read the file r stands for reading the file and if you use w here it means that you want to write something in the file and now we are going to create a variable called which is equal to now we are going to open this as l which is equal to l dot read now after this we are going to close this we are going to close the file now let's come to the bottom and we are going to use an if statement here if login r is equal to is equal to register and then we are going to show all of all of this which is username password mobile number so we are going to cut this and paste it here and also username password and mobile number and if it is login we have to use elif here let's say elif and now we are going to show only username and password so let's copy this and paste it here now let's save the program and let's run this program and now we we have an error Okay, first we have to create the file so let's go the, into the folder and let's create a file called new text file which will be called st start now let's rerun the program and now we have all this but we don't have the labels so we have to pack the labels we did not pa place the mobile number e email uh, mobile number username and password so let's do that let's cut them and paste them here
Now let's open the text file we have just created and just type in register save the file and close the file now when we run the program you can see everything username password and your mobile number now let's open the file and now when we change this to login save the file and now when you run the program you only have two labels enter a username and password so we have to add in uh, text inputs so let's do that we only need username and password so let's copy that and paste it here now you have text inputs for username and password so and the text of this button should change to login or a, or we can add another button so for now let's keep it simple so let's change the text of the button which is register register dot configure Now, whenever we click register, it should save the data. So, we are going to use the same process, but instead of open, uh, reading the file, we will write, we'll write the data into the file. So, we are going to create a function called save data. Now we are going to open the file again but this will be a different file with open user data dot txt now we are going to write this file as u and we are going to save the text inside the username password and mobile number and we are going to save this in a manner in the in such a manner that we, whenever the user try to log in we can check this data so let's say you dot write first we are going to write username and then password and then mobile number so let's come here and let's say take username dot get and we are let's keep this inside colons and make sure you add an f here and curly brackets so this is called f string And after this, we are going to put a colon and we are going to add password. Take pass. And then we are going to save the mobile number. mobile now let's save this program and this should be the command of this register button only if the user is going to register so let's say register dot configure command is equal to save data now let's save the program and let's make this to register again 
save it and close the file and now let's run the program now you can see we have username password and mobile number let's fill out something called user pass and some random numbers and now let's click on register and let's open this file and now not this file we are going to search for a call, file called user data now we have user and some some other data we got this data this is the we don't want this data so let's we did not use dot get here so let's say dot get now let's save the program and rerun the program now let's time something random again and let's hit register now let's open the file user data and now we have the data which we want and now whenever user click on this register button we also want the the data in this file to change to login so let's so let's do that let's open another this the file which we used for the file which we used here which is start.txt with open start.txt now we are going to use w for writing and then we are going we are going to open this as k now let's write k dot write We are going to change this to login. Now let's save the program and now let's run the program and now let's fill some random data and, then, and now let's click on register. Now let's close the program and then rerun the program. And now we have username and password. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video.